All right, that's all the campaigns and the build up to the, the election elections. coming up uh, September, sometime next month. September the 19th. Exactly. Absolutely. But now we have TVC News, uh, our reporter, Theophila Zelama, joins us now on Skype from uh, Do State to talk about some of the developments there in the last uh, 24 hours or maybe even 48 hours. Uh, is, Theophila, it's good to have you join us right now. Yesterday, we got reports of confusion around uh, the uh, Do State House of Assembly. Uh, whether it was the issue of impeachment or alleged or likely impeachment or the invasion of the house, it, it, it was kind of chaotic in the morning. But bring us up to speed right now. What is the state of things now? Right now, uh, Mike, yes, it was kind of chaotic yesterday. Um, there, were, there were rumors that, um, that the opposition party, opposition lawmakers were planning to take over the House of Assembly. Um, the PDP got wind of it, and uh, the, of course, it's, um, a large department of police officers were sent to the uh, chief uh, Antonio Nahoro uh, complex at Ring Road. Of course, Ring Road in Benin was quite a hub yesterday, traffic everywhere because of the activities. Um, uh, supporters of the PDP were there trying to ensure that nothing happened. The deputy governor was there, the governor was there. And every, uh, at the point, um, uh, we felt like it was just a, 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 a hostile takeover, but at this point, everything has been fine. Of course, um, the speaker that was um, elected, Victor Doro, called on the police to ensure that the house is safe for them to come sit tomorrow, uh, today. And so we expect that the house will sit today, and um, also we expect that everything will go on fine. Of course, now everything is fine. And we do not know how today is going to be, but at this point, everything is fine in the Benin City. Um, Theophilus, talk to us. Uh, is this a sign of things to come? We know how Edo State is. Uh, oftentimes, uh, when there are elections, uh, there's always this uh, mm. some sort of uh, tension, apprehension, and uh, we see that yeah. uh, so much happens uh, before election, and the campaigns have been going on. How is this, uh, the development of yesterday impacting the campaigns and uh, is this sign of things to come? Well, the elections in the Do State, it promises to be a tough one because both parties and both candidates have strong party supporters, have strong base in the state. If you go around the Do State and you ask questions, you get diverse views of, uh, of those who uh, each person wants to vote for. And so it's, it's going to be a tough, uh, battle in the Edo state and uh, it's going to be a tough one for both candidates to uh, gather people of course to get people to vote for them and all of that because it's a mixed reaction from here it's not like some states where um, you know that okay this person is going to win in particular but you know that in Edo state the, the governor has supporters and um, the uh, the candidate of the APC Pastor Sagi Ziamo, has his own supporters as well and so uh, it, it um, might not necessarily turn out violent um, because um, Edo State residents of Edo State just want peaceful elections, just like what they have been having before. And so I, I do not think this will translate into any violence uh, at the, on the, at the election day. All right. Uh, I know you would have spoken to a lot of people. Uh, what are what are indigents of Edo saying? What what are the issues and? What what would they what would be you know impacting the voting patterns? What are these issues they're talking about? Basically, Edo indigents, Edo residents want good governance. They want some democracy, the rule of law to prevail in the state. They want infrastructure. They want good roads, uh, uh, good housing, uh, better welfare, better way of living, and so that will. In, 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 uh, that would largely influence the way people vote in a do state because they will look at what they have been uh, having and what is to come. And so that will determine the voting pattern in the state. Good governance, basically, uh, infrastructure, they want to see a do um, become an independent state where it can fend for itself, just like Lagos in the, the, the IGR. They want to see it's a show where by the IGR will be big. A do state is it's a state where um, internal, gener internal revenue can come in large All right, from, we from see this state because some of the state understands what I'm talking about. Okay. The cultural heritage in Edo State is quite humongous. That is an, a revenue earner there. All right. We have to leave it here now. Theophilo Selama, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed with what's going on 
in Edo State.